Okay, and if you're looking after your weight, Lorraine has a couple of delicious salad recipes to share with us this morning with her recipe book, Always Delicious. Lorraine, great to have you on the cafe again. Nice to see you, Mike. Yeah, cool. And this fantastic, perfect time of the year for some beautiful salads, isn't it? It's certainly, and the weather's looking better. Oh, I know, it is. And um, what sort of salads are we going to do? Because we're making your work today, aren't we? Not one, but two. Well, we're doing a couple of salads that I actually think will be really good going up to Christmas because they're kind of celebratory. Yes. One is very simple, orange fennel with orange and fennel with uh, beautiful um, pomegranate seeds Yum. on it. So it's got a kind of, and that's what a pomegranate looks like. Nice. And those are the seeds. Seeds. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Right, and okay. you can buy the seeds in little packets already taken out of the pomegranate. That's so nice and that's easy. pretty easy. Perfect for you, Mike. <laughs> yeah, I like them easy. <laughs> and the other salad is a terrific salad because it's got ham and very fashionable mozzarella cheese, you know, that beautiful white ball of mozzarella. Look at that. Uh, brilliant. Really delicious, lovely and soft and Ooh, yummy. Yeah. But it's something mm. that you could actually use the leftover ham with and it looks very Christmassy because we're green and red oh. and leftover ham so nice Brilliant. and simple yep nice and delicious and as you say light oh we love that perfect time of the year healthy and delicious as Lorraine said we'll see how these come together very soon and if you are trying to get healthier our next guest has some delicious healthy salad options to share with us this morning um, thanks again Lorraine for being here we're making salads this is from always delicious the best of the listener for the past seven Yes, all the recipes that you've shared with people, you've got the best of them, put them in one book. Oh, it's so exciting. I yeah. just love doing it. I oh, know, and the good thing is with us today, we just get to stand back and watch Mark <laughs> do <laughs> everything. I think this is fantastic. So, nothing new, so, is it? <laughs> so this recipe is an orange and fennel salad, and the first thing is to make sure that you cut those oranges, and Mark's doing it beautifully. Superb job, yes. All the pith needs to go, because you don't want any little white bits showing on the edge. Okay. And so it's very simple, because what you need is an essentially, essentially a really sharp knife. So he's doing this beautifully, and what we're going to do with them is we're going to slice them up and put them on the plate. And so he's nearly there. He's very fast. I know, he's good. <laughs> when, you're, when you're looking at everything you've written for the listener over the years, Lorraine, how did you narrow down the best recipes? That must have been a nightmare for you. I know, because they were all so good. Well, they're all good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, so no, how many recipes raised, over yeah. seven years did you but have? I, that, well, I had se about 700 to choose from. Oh. <laughs> and so in this book there are... Um, 100. Okay. And so, and in fact, over the time, I did actually include other chefs' recipes. In fact, I had Mark's wonderful recipes from his book. Nice. Uh, but I didn't use anyone else's recipes for always delicious. Right, okay, I tend cool. to keep to my own. So he, Mark's got these beautiful oranges all. Look, doesn't that look absolutely beautiful? Looks beautiful. He has done an amazing job. We'll have him back. <laughs> <laughs> and so what we're going to do is, and you could do this, you could scale it up, you could do it with four or five oranges. Okay. And I'll tell you what, it'll make a beautiful salad for your Christmas barbecue. Nice. Because it's lovely, um, lovely colour. Refreshing as ref well. Very refreshing. Yes. So we'll arrange the oranges on the plate like that. And what do you like about the fennel and the orange mix? Well, classic. Uh, it, is, is it, it a classic it mix? It is classic. And Ooh, then I don't think I've ever tried it. Well, you'll be able to try afterwards. Nice. Won't you? It's like come to work is this each day, right? Yeah. <laughs> this will be your lunch after the that morning's over. <laughs> and so then we put, I think we've got enough of this now, Mark, um, that probably one fennel bulb like that would do about four or five oranges. Nice. So we pile that. And then the other, the thing that's really, while well, Mark is mixing up a dressing here, which is with uh, a little bit of honey, yes. lovely New Zealand honey. Nice. And lemon. Okay, Because simple. I think you need to, it's not a very good idea when you have oranges to put a vinegar. It's much nicer oh, to put okay. lemon juice because the citrus and the citrus work beautifully together. Oh no, we're learning a lot this morning. This and is then, good. This is a pomegranate. Oh yeah, and I love the pomegranate. But Don't use it very often, so here's no, a good way to use it. But this is a, now we're suddenly getting, look at that Christmassy look. Oh, look at it. You sort of almost like a Christmas tree. It <laughs> is. I love it. And but so, it's such a great texture as well, the pomegranate. Yeah, there's this lovely little bit of crunch so that, you know, we've got the oranges, which are soft, the um, fennel, which gives it a bit of crunch, and then this nice little bite. Mm. Those flavours are With these be beautiful fantastic. pomegranate. Pomegranate has almost a slightly... I would say almost a little bit of, um, well, a very tangy taste okay, too. Nice. And then Mark's making this beautiful dressing. So he's put some lemon zest in there. No, he's orange zest. Orange zest in lemon there. Lemon juice. Juice, and we've got the honey. And honey then, and a little bit of olive oil. Mix I love that. Up. Nice. Tiny pinch of salt. 
And the good thing is, too, this is nice and quick to mm. prepare, isn't it? Marine. Well, especially if you've got mark. Yeah, you especially if you've got a mark. <laughs> <laughs> and so you can then we'll put me out that. for Christmas if you want. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that your family would want you. Oh, this looks incredible, Lorraine. I'll tell you what, we'll come back and we'll see the next and one soon. That's uh, right, and there's just this drizzle the dressing drizzle over. Away. Oh, and this sick. is a salad that you can actually dress a long way ahead because, you know, with soft leaves you can't, but in this salad... Put the dressing on, oh, long way ahead, so it's in the fridge, ready to go. Brilliant. From there the book, you have. always delicious. And we'll get Lorraine's second recipe for ham, mozzarella and tomato salad in just a few minutes. We are back in the Beko kitchen with Lorraine Jacobs, and we've made our first salad, the orange, fennel and pomegranate. And, oh, look at it. There's the one with the white plate that we've just constructed, and there's the one from Lorraine's book. We've done pretty good, haven't we, Lorraine? Oh, I think he's, he's good, <laughs> isn't got he? Pro. He's got the pro. He's got the pro and take all the credit at the end, Mike. I know. <laughs> I'm surprised I have not dipped into that yet, but we will save it for the end of the show so everyone can have a go. Now, it's basically a Christmas leftover salad, Lorraine. Well, that's right, because of course at Christmas you get the ham, and the ham is wonderful, but then the next day, and the next day after, and the next day after, and you've got to try and think of things you can do with the ham. That's right. So I came up with this salad, um, and we've made it into sort of that lovely seasonal Christ Christmas uh, colours too, so it could even go as a Christmas salad on, on the day. Oh, I'm looking so, at my lips already. So of Mark's it. tearing up the beautiful red lettuce, um, and you know that some of those red lettuce is lovely because you know you get a little overgreen, and then of course we've got these peas to go in here, and you just need to defrost the peas. Right. And look, he's got that. We used to eat this as kids, and it, but every time we used to eat this, it used to tickle your throat. Uh, you yeah. hate it. <laughs> you oh, you can get a, a round soft now. version too. Yeah. 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 So you don't cook the peas, we just defrost them. Well, they'll be fine. Because okay, I think, fine. you know, these salads can be made ahead anyway. Nice. So that's nice. And now he's, uh, Mark is making the dressing, which is lovely, because it's got a red wine vinegar and a lot of mustard. Oh, yeah. So it's quite different from the other, the other one. And now he's pouring the olive oil in okay, nice. and adding that. And we're going to toss this together, and then we're going to add the ham and the tomatoes afterwards. Brilliant. Now, while Mark's doing that, Lorraine, I wanted to ask you, seven years at The Listener, you've been writing recipes. What sort of, I know I asked you this on the radio the other day, but what sort of changes have you seen in food over it, those seven years? Um, I think that I'm seeing the biggest change has been the move to less meat. Okay. Not no meat, but less, less meat. meat. So, uh, you know, I'm still very fond of meat, and most people I know Same. are, yeah. but... Smaller portions, and I think that's probably the biggest of all. Interesting. And the other thing, of course, that we've learned in the last seven years is not eating so much sugar. Ah, nice. And, yeah. and, to, and knowing where your food comes from, this is the beauty of making these types of salad. A hundred recipes in Lorraine's book, always delicious, the best of the last seven years of her writing recipes for the listener, which is a great magazine too, isn't it? So there you go. So what have you done, Mark? You've got the dressing in there now. Yep. So dressing's in there. So just a couple of spoons and just lightly toss it. So you don't want to, you don't want the salad leaves to be dripping okay so you can see there's no excess um dress in there but it's all over the leaves the leaves are nice and shiny Ooh. yes and they get a lot more flavor that way too great brilliant and so then we're going to put the peas okay through there which is really pretty nice really really pretty and christmasy colors again yeah That's great Indeed. red and white I yeah. tell you what, I'm gonna, I am gonna make that salad for Christmas. Oh, I'm, I'm not gonna do a traditional. Uh, yeah, I've been Christmas thinking. Lunch I've been thinking I might be having a barbecue too. Oh, yeah, right. and the good thing is we put these recipes on our website, but of course you can always get them on Lorraine's book. So the mozzarella oh, is going a lot in. And a lot more lovely salads a in there too. A lot more lovely salads in there, and they're always delicious. Hence the name of the book. Okay, so the cherry tomatoes, brilliant, love that. So now, if you've got vegetarians, you probably stop there. Yep. But you want to use this leftover Christmas ham. Yes, nice. So what we're going to do is we're just going to curl it up like that and tuck it in. And it's just going to be quite subtle but quite pretty in there. That's brilliant. So if you've got the big leg of ham, you can either slice it into yes, thin you slices. Could do. Can you cube well, it? I don't put the whole thing on top. <laughs> what about no, presentation? No, I do think that's probably right too, that you could cut slices and then do them in kind of like finger sized pieces in there would be pretty good too rather than, I mean yeah. these are the thin slices this isn't a ham off the bone but it'll be equally delicious oh, look, and, and once again what... we need a little bit of mint on there because peas oh. and mint is always beautiful. Nice, well there you go, there's the comparison there again, smashed it, brilliant 
So fresh, so flavoursome and absolutely brilliant. Been a pleasure having you on, Lorraine. Thank you so much. The recipes are on our website and of course you can get a copy of Always Delicious, the perfect Christmas gift. Mamma mia, mamma mia, look at these fantastic <laughs> salads. How beautiful do they look? Good work, Mike. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I really do a lot of work. Uh, thank you so much, Lorraine, for joining us today. Been an absolute pleasure. Mark, what are you doing on Monday? Right, on Monday we are making dumplings, Taiwanese dumplings from inspired from a recent trip. Thank you.